Hey, welcome back to the channel. UTV in the house. House, house, house. <laughs> Don't even know what that was. <laughs> okay, so today I want to talk about smart devices and how to connect them. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have run into trouble when you're trying to connect your smart bulb, your smart vacuum cleaner or smart plug adapter and it just won't connect, okay? And 99% of the time is because it's trying to connect to 5 gigahertz instead of the 2.4 gigahertz which is recommended for most smart devices. So first of all, let's talk about what 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are. So your router normally has or modern routers anyway, do you have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So 5 gigahertz gives a stronger signal, but it can't reach as far. And 2.4 gigahertz gives a little bit of a weaker signal, but it can travel a lot further throughout the home. So most manufacturers of smart devices have their devices work on 2.4 gigahertz because they don't want to give you a device that only works close to the router. They want to give you a device that works further away in your house. You don't want to be putting your smart device in the bedroom and it, and it won't work at all because five gigahertz can't reach it. Um, you could also argue that why can't manufacturers have these compatible with both five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz? I can't answer that question. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's down to manufacturing costs. Possibly, you know, if, if they had to put that in that type of um, technology into the, into the smart device, it may up the cost of the bulb exponentially. So I'm not sure. I've never had any as far that, that connects to five gigahertz. All mine have all connected to 2.4. So I'm gonna give you three ways you can go around this uh, to get your devices connected. Two of them are pretty viable and easy to do. One of them is just silly, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first option, and the easiest option, is to get the smart device away from the router as far away so you get to the end of the 2.4 gigahertz, so the 5 gigahertz can't, can't reach it. So what you do, I'm, on, I'm lucky I've got, a, I've got a power point outside in my house, but you can also use an extension lead. And then what you do, then you just set up your uh, smart light outside. So I just need to get it flashing. People are going to think I'm well weird doing this outside my house. Okay, and it's added up fine, no problem at all. Right, I've come in from outside. Neighbours think I'm mad going out there with a the lamp. Anyway, that's another story. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is the stupid one. Okay, but the reason I'm doing it, doing it is because I've seen it um, recommended on some other channels, which is, this is really stupid. You shouldn't really do this because it's a, it's a ball egg. Okay, it's moving the router. I know, some people in America are shouting at the screen, router, router. In the UK, we call it a router, okay? We invented the language, so there. <laughs> okay? It's moving the router away from the smart device to do the same thing. You're just doing the opposite. But here's the problem. In the back of there, you've got all these cables attached to it. You've got your ADSL cable, you've got your Ethernet cables, your power leads. So it's going to be a bit of a pain in the neck to try and get that away from your smart device. Now, here's the last thing I'm going to recommend, which you may potentially have to do if you have a fixed smart light switch or smart socket, okay, not the ones you plug in and out. Because obviously this is fixed to the wall. You can't take that away from the, the router, router, okay? You can't take it away. You don't really want to move your router away. So what you've got to do is turn off five gigahertz on your Wi-Fi. 
Now, I'm not going to do it in this video because it does take quite a while. I've done a whole video for that, which I'll put a link in the description here, okay, and, and also put a link in the description box below. And you can go through to that and see how to turn off your 5 gigahertz and turn it back on so you can set up your smart devices. I hope that's helped today. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give this video a lovely juicy like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.